Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Edna Matsuoka from Commissioner Wahiwa. We will now be conducting our monthly appreciation service for our founder, Ikiyami Konko Daigisama. Please join us in prayer. Please open your prayer books to page 2, Mediation Prayer. <coughs> Of 
and by day he taught the way of faith to all who sought him, expounding the blessings of heaven and earth, and he knew not the coming of night. By night he prayed for those who grieved, seeking salvation for all who suffered, and he knew not the dawning of day. Though the years pass and the world change, he did not waver from his past, the divine past of mediation. Thus was given the secret in Chi Kakitsuke, the guiding principle of our daily life. The divine favor was thus renewed, and his blessings flowed universally, establishing the way of eternal prosperity, the way of mediation of the Yami Kofo Daijin. By this wondrous revelation, we are given knowledge of the way, through all the hardships of this world, to gain a body and soul. The way of mediation teaches us to turn our hearts to come, without regard to our days or night, whether we are near or far. The way of mediation teaches us to pray with total trust. For living on a of divine favor, we offer our sincere apologies and pledge to end our ways. Let us live our faith every day, seeking and rejoicing in your divine favor. Let us care for those in pain and invite them to the way. Let us guide those, those who are lost and awaken them, them to the life of purpose. Kami, Kami is fulfilled in us, we are fulfilled in Kami. Kami. May this way of mutual fulfillment be manifested in this world. May Kami's wish for true peace and the well-being of all people be fulfilled. So we humbly pray, so we earnestly pray. Also marks 
138-year theistic origin. Lakeshida prayers, appreciation for professional services, for the mediation. We prayerfully could help and continue services. Most of the extent of the ministers who have dedicated their life to spreading compromises and many places throughout the world. The Prime Minister of Hong Kong, which was here, the late Reverend Haruko Takahashi, was initiated into the Hong Kong Office and he wanted to become Hong Kong Minister through the tourist mediation of the Reverend Masayuki Mikiki Kodan from Hong Kong Mission Group and dedicated in her mission work in Washington for 32 years since 1940. But extended appreciation and hard gratitude for the enormous cooperation of his research in the 81 years. It is through the divine guidance and arrangements, as well as the support and help of all people who have ever established relationship to this local church and help of all the Mitama spirit. The congregation of Wahiwa has come thus far. We sincerely ask our divine parent, Ike Konko Laishi, and Mitama spirit to continue to help and guide us in the practice of peace and further expansion of the Konko of his good in Hawaii. We have been trying to be mindful of any elements of blessing of divine parent, Genji Kainu Kai, and try to respond the ability, the appreciation of blessings, which we may take for granted, whether it is the water we use, the food we enjoy, the air we breathe, the land we live on, the resources we utilize, the job we have, the family poverty, all our normal body functions and abilities. All elements of life are possible through the grace and love of divine Katenchi Kainu Kai. Thank you for the blessings we have enjoyed in our personal and social life. We strive to actualize the vision of divine Pekinchi Kainu Kai. Please accept, appreciate today the many offerings, services, and any forms, and prayers forward to you as tokens of our appreciation and deep gratitude the blessing we see. Let us remind ourselves that again, Hong Kong life is there to help us, aid us, and guide us to be able to overcome any income in life. Thank you for your attendant prayer, prayer. For the people of the world, pray to Ikeri Kong Kodai with a sincere, like single heart, please fulfill whatever interest they have. Please forgive our negligence and ignorance for the such a long blessing we may try to acknowledge and appreciate. And the rivers and places we might have committed, knowing we are known. Please help us to read from our hearts to be united with the heart of Tenchi Kainu Kai. We also pray that world peace and harm will prevail through the actualization of the divine message in our state. No other way of person Tenchi Kainu Kai, which enable people to live. Kami shall people become aware of person heaven and earth. By the Hong Kong life grown throughout the world, with sunshine in every country with exception. We continue to extend our prayers for places throughout the world that are experiencing hardship due to such disasters, crime, poverty, harm, for governance, pollutions, and any violations. We also pray that um, President coronavirus pandemic will get stagnated and would be able to regain our normal lives within the whole world leaders. Dear Divine Pure Tenchi Kainu Kai, please allow us to be of service to you in helping others at the utmost exceptional thanks for the blessing we are being able to enjoy. In concluding this service, we pray that the positive service is going to one and all. No education.
Recitation of Genji Kakitsuke, page 6. Pray sincerely with all your heart, be one with our mommy. Tommy's blessings begin within our hearts, grateful and caring in harmony and joy. We look to the mommy always, now and forever on this very day. Pray. Again, <laughs> Pray sincerely with all your heart, be one with our mommy. Mommy's blessings begin with it. Our grateful and caring in harmony and joy. We look to mommy always, now and forever, on this very day. Pray. Adoration Prayer, page 7. We lift our eyes in awe to our heaven soaring above. We lift our, our eyes in awe to our heaven soaring above. We bow our heads in prayer to our earth rich and deep. We live amid such gifts of Tommy's great giving. How happy and grateful we are. The mediation of Hiyami Konko Daijin does not stop for a single day. The protection of the divine parent embraces all far and wide. The blessings of Tommy flow without limit through all generations. The ways of Tommy are mysterious and wondrous beyond our understanding. Day by day, every day, earnestly and reverently, we praise the virtues of Tommy. We honor the power of Tommy. Shintoku Sanji, page 29. あおぎまつれんばてんたかくおぎまつれんばてんたかくおろがみまつれんばちわつしかみのめぐみにかさくるみのせいわいぞありがたきわがいきがみのんとりすぎひとりもかくるときのなく神の本守りと秋地垣の隔てなし神に尽くしみはよろずやに甘ねくみちてはてしなくかん働いは薄しくて人の思いぞおよばざるわれだ今月今 日々やびまつりていたすらに神の御影をたたえまつらん神の慰霊を煽りまつらん一度入れ Mitama prayer, page 12. Spirit of those who have gone before us, 
You are, you are the, the gift of life, life in this vast and endless universe. You, you discharge your duties faithfully, faithfully according to your span of years. You will be remembered eternally, your lives be from generation to generation. Honored as the foundation of our society and the roots of our families. Through the mysterious work of God, Mommy, you enter the cloak of faith. You walk the way of co-fellowship, respecting the will of the divine character. You have now three years of your faith to take the world beyond and leave your descendants. Our gratitude is all for your loving favors. We believe that you have the ancestors who are to our homes, our own divine spirits. We beseech you to stand by us, each and every one. We receive the favor of Tommy and help us fulfill our tasks as people without failing. Protect us, guide us, enrich us, that we may never lose our faith, that we may come down unto all generations, that we may live in peace and prosperity within our homes. Protect us, guide us, enrich us. この兵器で境に後輩廃さしとめるからその分に承知してくれ外家業へたし農業へで人が願いでを見に来戻り願いが済みまた農へでまともよ見に来農業する間もなし来た人も町両方の差し支えないなるなんと家業をやめてくれる
70 together. Divine message received on November 15, 1859. With the completion of this sacred staff, I will end your farming career. Please understand, when you are out farming, the person at home has to go out and call you whenever someone comes to give a request. And after you relay the request, you have to go back out again. You have to keep going in and out of the field. This gives you a little time for farming. And the worshiper must also wait for you. Both you and the worshiper are being inconvenienced. Would you stop farming? When you were gravely ill at 42, the doctor gave up hope. And everyone worried about you. You prayed, you prayed to the Kamamis and Buddhas and, Buddhas and were blessed with complete recovery. Regardless, regardless of event as your death, death dispel all desires and assist Tenshi Kamino Kami. Also, your wife should consider herself a widow. This, this is better than being a real widow, as, as she can still talk to you and discuss matters. She, she should take the children with her to do the farm work. There are, there are many people, people like yourself who have sincere faith in commies but still have many problems. Help, help these people by performing mediation. This will help commie and save people. People, people exist because of commie and commie exists because of people. Thus commie supports people as commie's children and people support commie as their parent. The eternal prosperity, theorial, cocktail, mutual interdependency. And let's see the Konko Faith Art Tree, page 73. We believe in Tenji Kaino Kami, the divine parent of the universe. Our founder, Konko Daijin, praised Kami's revelations and as divine mediator answers the call to eternal mediation. Our continuing goal from moment to moment is to realize Kami within each of us. We are, we are fulfilled through Kami. Kami is fulfilled through us. The happiness of everyone is Kami's greatest wish. We give thanks for Kami's blessings, mysterious, wondrous, and mundane. Blessings begin with our own hearts and filled with harmony and joy. We pray wholeheartedly to Kami today and every day, trusting Kami as our loving parent, finding peace of mind. We live our faith in service to Kami, each other, and our world, nurturing and nurtured, mutually fulfilled. We revere those who have gone before us, spirits one with Kami, caring for us eternally. We respect and appreciate other paths taken by humanity towards spiritual fulfillment. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today for our monthly service for our founder, Ikiyami Konko Daijin Kama. Uh, today, uh, oh, well, every time we have a get today side, we read the Rikyo Shinin, you know, the scroll that I just read. Uh, that is basically a message from Kamisama to our founder, Konko Daijin, to stop farming and to dedicate himself fully to Kamisama. Can you do that? <laughs> If you have like this, your gut feeling says, you know, I need to stop working and I need to dedicate my life solely to Kami-sama. Can you imagine telling that to your family? They're going to think you got mad or something. They're going to take you to a psychiatrist the next day. <laughs> but even the founder's family were like really, they were distressed when the founder said that, you know. Like the father-in-law was, you know, I don't know if you saw the documentary or like the, the movie, uh, that appears on TV TV every year about the founder's life. But did you see that part when the founder says, I am going to quit my farming job? <laughs> That's, he's a sole breadwinner. If he quits farming, it's like, how is a family supposed to eat? You know. But he said, I'm going to stop farming. And he just left it up to the wife and the kids to do whatever farm work they can. The father-in-law was livid. He was like, you're going mad, you're crazy. And that, that's the normal response. But Konko Daijin, he knows people will think he's crazy, but he felt in his heart that this was the right thing to do 
and fully dedicate himself to Kamisama and to help people who came to see him. And many, many people were coming to see him. Like he really didn't have time to farm, you know. <laughs> he he pick up his his um, sickle, try to cut some um, rice, and then oh, somebody's calling for me again. They want help um, and they want prayer. So he didn't have time already to farm. So it's like he just stopped and he dedicated himself to Kamisama. And, but if he didn't do that, I wouldn't be here, and this church wouldn't be here. And you can just see that that single act of quitting his job led up to all these blessings that we have today in this church and all the Konko churches that stand today. And many, many, many more people are receiving divine blessings. But anyways, today is Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> I want to give a little shout out to all the mothers mother figures, and even pet mommies out there for all that you do for your children or your, your pets. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Okatan. <laughs> we have a direct connection with our mothers. And to prove that, find your belly button. Go, 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 touch, go touch it right now. Touch your belly button. That's where you are attached to your mama. So whether you had a good relationship with your mom or whether you didn't like her because she was a helicopter mama or because she just got on your nerves, always touch your pico, your belly button, and say thank you because you were connected to your mom at one point. And say thank you that she kept you in her tummy till term and that she gave birth to you. Uh, I don't think it was a pleasant experience to give birth. <laughs> in our time, we have three uh, in our lifetimes, we have three parents. And you'd be like, what? What do you mean, three parents? So in Konkokyo, there's a saying that goes, Umi no oya, sorate no oya, oshie no oya. Oya means parents. So, umi no oya is the parent that gave birth to you, that gave you life. Sorate no oya is the parent that raised you, you know, the one that gave you milk, changed your diapers, and made sure you were fed. Make sure you are taken care of. And the third one is Oshie no Oya, the parent that taught you, taught you morals, taught you how to yeah. live. These were the teachers. So the second parent is Sodate no Oya, which means, you know, the parent that raised us. But sometimes they can be the same people that gave us life. Okay, they're mm -hmm. parents, you know, or mom and dad. But sometimes it could be an adoptive parent, you know, it could be your grandparents. It could be, I don't know, like your uncle, auntie or uncle. And the third parent, Oshie no Oya, which means, again, the parent that taught us. And sometimes people have very influential mentors in their lives, and these are those people. And these people really guided them to be where they are, they are at today. It could be a school teacher. It could be a friend. Mm -hmm. It could be your minister. It could be anyone that's a counselor. And again, the same parents that gave birth to you can be the same parents that raised you. The umi, the sodate no oya, and also they can be the the mentors in your life. So you know your your parents, your biological parents could be all three. But if it's not, it's okay. Wonderful. It takes the whole village to raise a person. That's what I think. Think about these people in your life. Think about your parents, and you will realize that we were not here. We will not be here where we're at right now if it weren't for these. People. For some people, they're a fortunate encounter with one individual. Just one person they encounter in their life can change their life forever, can change their fate. Take, for example, our founder, Haruko Takahashi Sensei. She was so distressed with her visual irregularities that she even contemplated suicide. Can you, can you imagine that? She was in her teens and she basically hit rock bottom. But her encounter with the late Reverend Masayuki Kodama, through her sewing instructor now, changed her life. The sewing instructor happened to be Konko, Konko, a Konko believer, and she happened to see Haruko Sensei eating with strange behavior, like she would just avoid meat and fish and just eat like vegetables. And she was like, that's kind of wasteful. Why don't you come to the church I go to um, the Konko Church of Honolulu. So her sewing instructor took her to see Kodama Sensei. 
And the teaching she received from Sensei were life changing. They were so life changing. It, her vision improved. Can you believe it? Her vision improved so much. That even her family back in the Big Island were amazed that this was surely a true faith that even Haruko Sensei had faith. So for Haruko Sensei, the parent that taught her, so her uh, is Reverend Kodama Sensei. My Oshie no Oya, my teacher is the founder of Konko Sensei. Well, actually, my parents is my Oshie no Oya. They are the ones that taught me the Konko Kyo teachings. And because of that, it ultimately leads to my happiness. So I'm really glad that my parents have taught me Konko. And it has saved me so many occasions. So my parents are the ones that help me understand the teachings of Konko Daiji. And it ultimately leads back to the Founder's teaching. So I thank my parents for passing on the Founder's teaching. It's a priceless treasure. People are concerned about leaving vast amounts of money and property to their descendants. That's not important. These values, these core values, are what's important. If your material wealth somehow disappears through like a natural disaster, what are you left with? If that's all you have, what are you left with? You're gonna be so distressed, you're not gonna know what to do. But with faith, even if everything may disappear, you will still have that strength to stand back up on your two feet again and move forward. And, and a couple of days ago, I was talking with my mom about the founder of Kongo Daijin in his life because right now, right now we are reading his new biography. It's called From Farmer to Founder. We have many copies, so pick one up today. <coughs> Come to our head, just pick one up and read. Read about the founder of Kongo Daijin, guys. Kongo Daijin has really been through a lot. He lost three of his children. Can you imagine you losing just even one of your kids? Koko Daji lost three. He also lost two of his important oxen. Oxen were, they were members of the family. They were so important to his farming career. And also, they were just like his children. He also lost his stepbrother, who was just six years old. And three weeks after the death of his six-year-old, Stepbrother, he lost his <coughs> stepfather, uh, his adopted father, who was only 66 years old. These seven deaths, it's called Nanahaka, happened in the in the period of 16 years. If you have that many close people die to die in your family, no normal person will be able to maintain their sanity. I will be like. <laughs> My mom died, my husband died, my brother died, my dad died, and my, my cats all died in a period of such a short time. I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to die. I'm <laughs> There's no hope. I won't have any more hope left, you know. So can you imagine how sad Konko Daijin was with these losses? And then at the age 42, Yakudoshi. Konko Dajin was about to lose his own life with a very bad throat ailment that was beginning to obstruct his ability to eat, to drink, and to talk, and almost to breathe. He was at the deadest end, you can imagine. And that's when he encountered Kamisama for the first time in his, world, his life, when he hit rock bottom. And then he realized that he had been committing a lot of grave offenses to Konjin Sama, the deity, who people thought was an evil deity. <clears throat> and then he was the first one to acknowledge that Konjin Sama is not to be avoided through practicing the days and directions, but following instead to, be, to, to revere Konjin Sama as a benevolent, loving, Ultra generous Kamisama. So this Konji Sama was later named Tenchi Kanemu Kamisama. So if you can see in the center of our altar, the golden mark with the word the letter King, that 
came from Konjin. Kong, Kong Ko Kyo, Konjin. <coughs> and it later turned into Kong Ko, meaning golden light shining from within his heart. So a lot of people think that people who don't know Kong Ko Kyo might think, oh, this is a religion of money. Okane. <laughs> yeah, it is the same kanji, Okane. But it came from Konjin Sama. And you ask any Japanese about Konjin, you know Konjin, they'll be like, oh yeah, that's an evil deity. We want to avoid him as much as possible. <laughs> and there's even a calendar that they follow that they said, oh, Konjin is here at this time, at this day, on these days, on this is a lucky day where Konjin is not here, so this is a day you should get married, or this is a day you should build your houses. And they even check the directions, they have like a special compass and say, oh, Konjin Sama will be here at this time, at this direction, so do not face this direction, for example, when giving birth, or you're going to get bad luck, <laughs> and you're going to open up the realms of Konjin, and evil things are going to happen to you. And people in Japan so paranoid about the wrath of Konjin Sama. They even follow it till this day. Can you believe that? But Konko Daishi was like, you don't have to follow any of that superstitions. You just have to realize that Konjin is everywhere. There's no point in avoiding Konjin Sama because you can't. So might as well deal with it. And just instead acknowledge that Konjin Sama is not an evil Kami Sama, please. Kami Sama is the one that will help you receive Okage, divine blessings. Anyways, and Konko Daji, anyway, so Konko Daji was able to establish a very close relationship with this so called Konjin Sama. And the name Konjin Sama turned into Tenji Kanem Kami Sama, the Kami Sama of Heaven and Earth. Since Konko Daji was able to communicate with Kami Sama, he was able to convey the truth to those that came to seek it. So many, many people, they, they hit rock bottom, they came to seek. Konko Daji. And Konko Daji was able to give them the answers so they can get out of that rock bottom state and be safe. Konko Daji hit rock bottom and went through so much hardship and suffering in his life. But because of that, he was able to encounter Kani Sama. So now we can all receive divine blessings more easily without having to hit rock bottom. And I always, you know, I always see these, these big like um, kyokais in Japan and you hear about the founding ministers who were who who made that church possible into such a big church and my mom says oh yeah that sensei went through so much hardship and kuro oh that sensei hit rock bottom and I was like okasan do I have to hit rock bottom for this <laughs> church to be big? Do I have to hit rock bottom to receive Okage? But I don't want to hit rock bottom, and I don't think you want to either. No one wants to hit rock bottom. The teachings, so my mom says, no, you don't have to hit rock bottom. And I think, really? So there's a way to succeed? Because a lot of these businesses too, you see successful people, all of them hit rock bottom. I was like, so there's really a way to succeed without hitting rock bottom? Yes, there is. The teachings in the Kyoten. This is our guidebook. You follow these teachings in this Kyoten, you don't have to hit rock bottom. You can receive Okage without hitting rock bottom. Konko Dajin said in a teaching that if we commit irreverence to Kamisawa, unknowingly we will have to make seven grades and if we commit irreverence to kamisama knowingly the head of the household's life will be taken now that's pretty scary because <laughs> i don't know if i'm committing irreverence to kamisama i'm sure i am so i'm scared if seven of my cats are gonna die or my loved ones are gonna die i hope i don't that doesn't happen but I really, really want to focus my heart to come Sama and really understand the teachings of Konko Daiji. So that kind of hit, like hitting rock bottom kind of thing doesn't happen. But when you do hit rock bottom, don't think it's a punishment from Kami Sama. But this is just how the energy of the universe works, you know? It's not Kami Sama killing your loved ones. It's the energy. So bad 
energy surrounds the acts of irreverence. And if the acts are committed knowingly, you know, if you knowingly cause harm to people, you knowingly do bad things, it's the energy pretty much that you are expressing, which is going to be magnified, which leads to your grave misfortunes, which leads to these bad luck happenings. It's not Kamisama inflicting you. You are basically inflicting injury to yourself by having this heart. And people call it bad luck, but really it isn't. It's energy. Energy is project whatever energy you project into the universe. It boomerangs back to you. <laughs> it is so scary. So be careful what kind of thoughts you have in your heart when you're alone, when, you, when you're not on your cell phone, this quiet moment you have to yourself. What kind of thoughts enter your head? What do you think about? Are they good thoughts? Are they bad thoughts? Because every thought we think about attracts that energy and it boomerangs back to you. If it's good thoughts, good things will boomerang back to you. So random. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, or wait, the other day, okay, so this was Friday. I wrote a script, Showa, a sermon. And I wrote about how, you know, you just think of something and it comes to you. You know, just a random thing. You think about somebody that you haven't thought about in a long time. And then, boom, you get a text from them suddenly. Or they call you, you know. Or you get a letter from them. And you're like, whoa, I was just thinking about this person. Or you just randomly see them when you go to, like, the supermarket, you know. Mm -hmm. And it happens. It's amazing. It's like you think about them and then you attract it to you. So on Friday... I was randomly thinking about a baked manapua, a baked char shoe manapua, because mm -hmm. I love those. And it just randomly popped up in my head. I was like, oh, every Memorial Day we get to eat a delicious baked char shoe bao after we go see the food. So I was like imagining the manapua. And then yesterday when I went to work, <laughs> a patient, Donated two boxes wow. of baked char shoe manapua <laughs> to the nurses. Hey. I'm like, what? What's your Whoa, I was just thinking about this. So one box had all baked manapua. Mm -hmm. Exactly the one I was envisioning. Wow. And the other one had pork hash, had dim sum. I was like, oh my gosh, my heart is in heaven. So it's really weird, yeah. Your thoughts are really important. So those, these little thoughts, even the ones that just like pop up randomly, be careful, because it could happen. So anyways, we really need to be careful how we think and conduct ourselves. I had a patient a few days ago. Uh, she was like 95 years old and full of energy, mm -hmm. pleasantly confused, but she was partly there. <laughs> I asked her, what is your secret to living so long, to being so full of energy? And she says, don't worry. She five through now. Worry will cause us stress and cause others around us to feel stress too. Mm -hmm. Worry is basically a prayer for bad things to happen. You keep worrying, it's gonna happen. And you keep putting that energy into the universe. So anyways, we are very fortunate that we have the Konko teachings, our guidebook to a life where we won't hit rock bottom. But even if we do, we will be able to get back up again. This is our guidebook. Please read it. Get to know the founder and Konko Kyo teachings by reading the biography, by reading, mm. knowing, knowing the founder. Know the founder, please. And know the teachings of the Kyo. If I ask you to state five Konko teachings that you like, then tell it to me. From the top of your head, are you able to do that? Can you tell me from the top of your head five Konko teachings? Can you even name three Konko teachings that you remember? <laughs> How can you say you are a Konko believer if you don't read the Kyoten, if you don't even know a few teachings? Read and understand and incorporate the 
teachings of Konko Daijin into your daily living. And I promise you, your life will definitely change for the better. So, pick up your Kyoten today. <laughs> <laughs> today is the spring grand ceremony for the Hilo Kyokai. It's going to start at 11. Um, they're going to Zoom it and we'll join that. Today is also San Diego Church Kodai Sai. Mm -hmm. Tan is serving at the San Diego Church. So let's pray that his uh, grand ceremony went well. And also today is Seattle Kyokai's grand ceremony. And my brother Rodney Sensei is presenting the sermon for the Kongo Church of San Diego. And I have been asked to present the sermon for the Kongo Church of Seattle Kodai Sai. Mm -hmm. So uh, I did a sermon and I recorded it on YouTube and I sent it to them. So they are, I think, Zooming and uh, presenting my sermon in their, their Zoom service. So later, after the service is over, I will put the link of my sermon in, that I gave at the, uh, for the Seattle Church for Dai Sai mm -hmm. into our Koko Kyo Wahia Church Facebook page. And it's a great honor to be asked to deliver the sermon for the Koko Church of Seattle, Washington. The head minister is the Reverend Robert Juleti Sensei, or Bobby Sensei, and his wife is Mitsue Sensei. Mm -hmm. My sermon topic for Seattle Church Kodaisa is Waga Kokoro. Waga Kokoro. And in the Tenchikatitsuke, uh, you will see the word Waga Kokoro ni ari. You know, divine favor depends upon having a harmonious and joyful heart. So I talk about that in my sermon. Waga Kokoro is a key step in receiving any kind of okage. Before you pray to Kamisama, if you don't have that waga kokoro element in your heart, it's really hard to receive okage. Okage or blessings and waga kokoro go hand in hand. So free, feel free to check out the YouTube I will post after the service on our Facebook page and also on uh, our YouTube page, uh, the Konko Wahiwa channel. Thank you very much again for your attention and for listening today. Have a wonderful day and happy Mother's Day. Thank you for coming to today's uh, monthly service. Uh, this morning I was talking to Edna Sensei and I said, I can't, I don't know what to talk about today. Like, I've been thinking about it like all week, like this whole week about what to talk about. Uh, <laughs> the only thing I can think about is today is Mother's Day. Um, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and all the people who raise somebody like a mother. What I can say, and I was talking about um, so no oh yeah, so the person who raises the individual, I guess. Um, 
I could just think when I when I think of uh, being a mother, I could just think of of course uh, my own mom, Kaza, uh, <laughs> because <laughs> she's she's the one that gave birth to me. Uh, being a mother, she provides uh, unconditional love, uh, no matter what, no matter what kind of situation uh, I may be in or anybody else. Um, she is very accepting. Unconditional is what I could think, but she's an unconditional person to I think anybody. Um, even at the Japanese school where she was teaching at, at the high school, I could, I could imagine how they could probably think of her as like a grandma um, to them. So she displays unconditional love all the time, no matter what. To there's no bias or anything when she talks to somebody. It's like it's like anybody that comes to this church. Anybody that meets her, basically she treats them like, like a mom. You know, it's like go eat, go eat. Every time, it's like she's she always gets me food all the time. And I know my friends, <laughs> and my sisters, says, don't need give him anything. You know? he's, gonna, he's gonna get it himself, uh, or he's gonna eat what he wants to eat. <laughs> but then, regardless, my mom is gonna like, just start bringing up. Dishes. <laughs> Yeah. And I think that is the giving nature of a mom. It's like she doesn't care what other people's gonna say. She's still gonna start giving. Um, and to give unconditionally is what I realize. Um, I eat. I eat everything, pretty much for the most part. As long as my mom is here, I think I felt like I should just enjoy the fact that my mom is here, so that I can. While I can still interact with her while she's alive, I know I always end up coming like talking more towards the morbid side. But <laughs> I just try to, um, I try to accept whatever my mom says. It's hard. It's hard because it becomes nagging sometimes after a while. Um, but that's probably the reason. Also, why I gain a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> To the point I can't uh, stick my shaku inside, <laughs> inside of my that's so funny. pants. That's, that's the reason I was having a hard time <laughs> out there today where it doesn't fit anymore. Um, so, yeah, the basic thing that I can say is Happy Mother's Day uh, to everyone out there. Um, and that true unconditional love um, is what a mother brings to her family, her children, and I felt that we should, whoever has their mom out there right now, or whoever, or if their mothers have passed away, is to always remember them um, and to be thankful, even though uh, they may not be here today, is to show thanks uh, for giving birth to them, for raising them, um, and for being there for them. Um, throughout their lifetime. Thank you.
おはよう、Thank you for the exercise. Happy Mother's Day. As Edna Sensei mentioned, the three parents, Umi no Oya, Sodate no Oya, and Oshie no Oya. And actually, Reiko Sensei has enjoyed three elements away. Umi no Oya, Sodate no Oya, and then Oshie no Oya, teaching at the Kong Kong Day. So, in a sense, she is a kind of ideal mother or woman to enjoy raising children, teaching Kongo techniques. And I find the same element in my mother, Nomoko, Pasadena, six elements. Five. Five elements. <coughs> she raised eight children, three, uh, five boys and three girls. And basically, every child became Kongo believer because of a uh, maybe consistent attitude to each in, 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 in child, 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 child. In Japanese, we say, Osekai, nosy. I don't want that kind of care, but she did. Whenever uh, anyone she would go to Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, or any other places. She always find a church nearby. And she always travel to that church and introduce each of us to the sensei. So this would be one of the reasons why every child became Kong Kong Bibi. The same after she enjoyed raising children and enjoy teaching Kung Fu techniques. It's a kind of a blessed, full-fledged mother of many women. It's a very, very deep person. Uh, same thing can be related to husband and wife. She could be a kind of umi no. I want to show her husband or ladies. <laughs> And then, so that they know, so we all, so that they know. And then, they start opening the keys. The sound, but this can be a basic element. Maybe she could be one of the happiest mother in the world. Anyway, and for the David uh, message, uh, unconditional love. Uh, even for cats, she <laughs> feed. <laughs> uh, maybe unconditional. So kawaii, this is a basic scripture to anybody else. Because of her, uh, maybe uh, uh, the other children became Kong Kong Mimos.
People must receive divine blessings even when they have no problems. In a time of crisis, they need to receive more divine blessings. Receiving divine blessings is not guaranteed unless they have held fast to their faith so that they do not have to look for it during crucial times. If an emergency arises, it is all right to pray, Konko Daijen, please help me. Even if you are naked or in the middle of a field, you will soon receive divine blessings. 18. Be patient.
、えー、ただいまから歌を4つ歌わせていただきます。We're going to sing four songs. Page 57, 新人の栄光からです。よろしくお願いいたします。
Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we hope you have a wonderful new week. Uh, just one announcement. <clears throat> we'll have our Choten study group session using the Voice of the Universe book. Um, our next study session will be on Wednesday, May 19th at 5 p.m. on Zoom. So if you would like to join us, please um, message me. And I also put the, um, the announcement up on Facebook. So please uh, message me if you would like to join. Thank you. Renovation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Another announcement. So our uh, t-shirt, uh, what do you call T-shirt fundraiser. <laughs> Sorry, I was having a brain fart. Our t-shirt fundraiser on Tea Spring, a uh, campaign to raise money for the headquarters renovation fund. It will. It, they already have the. Um, they already raised the goal amount, so it's amazing. Yet uh, we will still be offering the donations, all the profits from the Tea Spring tea sales, up till the end of this week. We up till the thirteenth. May thirteenth is the deadline to order shirts. Uh, and that profit will go to the Konkosu headquarters. So, uh, if you would still like to support the Homo my renovation, uh, please do so. Thank you very much. And I'll keep the t-shirts up indefinitely, but the, the money raised until midweek this week will be donated to Konkosu Renovation Fund. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day.